According to The Motley Fool, these are the top defense stocks you can invest in for 2023. These are all stocks that have normally shown an increase in revenue during times of conflict. Most of them have contracts with the Department of Defense and are hired by the U.S. military to build weapons and other equipment used by the armed forces during the times of war. A link to the article will be in the description. Now remember guys, I'm not recommending any of these stocks. I'm just reading the article out loud and providing you guys with some information. Also, I don't condone any type of violence and I hate what is happening in the Middle East right now and in Ukraine. And I pray that everything gets resolved as soon as possible. As a veteran of 20 years, I can tell you right now in war, there are no winners. All right, also stay tuned until the end of the video because they have a list of ETFs to invest in if you prefer to invest on those. Uh, with that being said, let's get right into it. The first company on the list is Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin is the world's largest defense company and the US government's biggest contractor. They build advanced fighter planes, high-tech missiles, and cutting-edge electronics. I'm sure that many of my fellow investors and army buddies are very familiar with Lockheed Martin. At number two we have on the list is Boeing. Boeing is known for their commercial planes, but they also make several different aircrafts and helicopters for the Pentagon. They are also involved in the space program. I'm not really sure what they do there, but okay. <laughs> At number three, we have Northrop Grumman. Northrop Grumman is responsible for stealth bombers and has a large space portfolio. The company is closely tied to the nuclear triad, which is a combination of nuclear missiles, bombers, and submarines able to strike if the nation is attacked. It's pretty scary stuff, guys. At number four, we have General Dynamics, and General Dynamics is one of the two primary military shipbuilders and has a portfolio of tanks and land vehicles that makes it one of the go-to vendors for the U.S. Army. They also have one of the largest defense-focused IT and services businesses, giving it some revenue stability at times when the Pentagon cuts back on equipment purchases. I'm sure that if you ever served in the military, you have come across General Dynamics products. Number five is Raytheon Technologies. Now, Raytheon Technologies is the product of the 2020 merger between Raytheon, a defense electronics and missile specialist, and United Technologies, which makes aircraft engines and a variety of other aerospace parts. I heard of them as well while I was in the military. And last but not least, we have Lido's Holdings. Now, Lido's Holdings is the largest government information technology company. It has also actively expanded into hardware, providing the electronics and the brains for autonomous ships and building a strong portfolio of classified research capabilities geared for the intelligence and space communities. We all know that technology is very important and it could be the determining factor on winning any war. And now as promised, here's the three ETS and Molly Fool things that you might be good for you if you don't want to choose among individual companies. At number one, they have the Invesco Aerospace and Defense ETF, ticker symbol PPA. At number two, they got the Spider SMP Aerospace and Defense, ticker symbol XAR. And at number three is the iShares US Aerospace and Defense ETFs, ticker symbol ITA. And that was a list of six stocks and three ETFs that you can buy right now that are in the defense sector. Are there any other companies you might think to do well during the times of chaos? Let me know in the comments below. I pray for the end of both wars very soon. As always guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But more important than that, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon.